Welcome back to Parker Podcast. Today we're here we're here to talk about exploratories and things you should be allowed to do in tutorial. Music intro. Slay. Music intro. Oh, did they record this part? No. How can you imagine make sure? I'm Caleb and today I'm here with Gage. O Dog and Quentin. So we all know that there's a various number of exploratories you can do during 6th grade. It's 3A and 3B. What do you have, Gage? Uh, I have Jim, and I have Mr. Beck with health. Owen? I got Tech Ed with Mr. Motes, and I have Jim with Mr. Marifine. Quentin? W. I have health and social arts. I have Tech Ed with Mr. Motes and social arts with Mr. Hudge. So do you guys all enjoy your exploratories? Yeah. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Well... What do you guys think is the best exploratory that you can have? Gym. Yeah, gym. Gym. yeah, gym. I, really like yeah gym. I, I I do like gym because we do because we have to sit down all day, do schoolwork and stuff. So I, I do feel like it's good to like just go out and run around and play games yeah. and stuff. For real. I feel yeah. like uh the steam is also a pretty good one because True. that yeah. one you get a lot of like hands on yeah. experience. Yeah. You do like experiments and you code and do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. 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 Mr. Bookhammer Steam fifth grade i had him first quarter yeah, first same. and he was a w he so was, yeah. yeah i had steam too i had it first quarter with owen and i believe gage was in that class too Might jace been, yeah. and braxton and jace, were yeah. too yes so i do like that exploratory because we did a lot of hands-on stuff we got to go outside a lot yeah. and it was just a really fun class you got to be active and you got to do stuff that was fun yeah steam in fifth grade we went out uh where the uh whatever track people i think were on like the trails and stuff in the yeah woods. the oh, trails yeah, yeah. in the woods mm-hmm. we had to like filter our, our own water and that was oh, fun yeah. Yeah. i liked doing that same yeah yeah what are the, what other exploratories that you guys have had that you really liked i mean i feel like exploratories it kind of depends on the person but i feel like a lot of people kind of like tend to like more hands-on experiences that's why i think that steam is usually a favorite yeah but i also think that this class is also pretty fun yeah social arts because this one you get to do a lot of debating yeah and stuff like these podcasts yeah and a lot of rubik's cubes and stuff yeah so Um, so sorry but this isn't this is one of the core classes i feel like science in fifth grade that was also like a hands-on that reminded me of steam and stuff yeah um, I would say one of my favorite last year was, uh, music with Mr. Stedman. Yeah, that was fun, because I had that class with mm-hmm. you, and he was pretty chill and stuff, and we got to play, like, instruments, and it was pretty fun. One more thing. So, if you guys were to have one exploratory that you could do, what it, would it be? Like, one made-up exploratory. Like a like house like like real life house like not like a, like family living like cooking like house repairments. Yeah, I would like something that had like engineering and stuff that you could like design things and stuff. Yeah, I would like uh, like real estate and learning about like how to put houses on the market and learning how to sell things and like start a business and stuff. I feel so I I had a slight thought of gauges, but I feel like entrepreneuring. Yeah, definitely. I feel yeah. like that would be a good yeah. one. Yeah, it would be. Well, I feel like a good one would be just if we had like a room where there was like like beanbag chairs and like comfortable seats, just like go down and sit down because like with work we have a lot of work that we have to do every day that's like sometimes really stressful. So, like, just, like, a place where you could get your work done, um, like, rest if you needed to, or maybe, like, just, like, play a game, like, a board game or something would be fun. Oh, yeah. So, I think, Caleb, you're trying to say is you want a nap time. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You want a nap time. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. So, in tutorial, we have work that we have to do every day. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have homework that you're not done with, if you're done with all your stuff, you can do reading. Yeah. Um, you can do reading you can like work on extra math stuff to get your grades up and stuff so what is one thing you guys think you should be allowed to do like during tutorial Uh, if if your work is done i think that you should be allowed to have free time but like yeah 
only if you have your work done. Because if you don't have your work done, then and you're trying to do free time stuff, I feel like you could just get a QR code because, like, I feel like kids could get easily carried away with their free time and not remember about their work, and then yeah, they wouldn't be getting as good yeah, of grades well, in their classes. Yeah, so like Mr. Santo says, like, always do something productive. Oh, yeah. So, but, like, I think, like, if we're done with all of our work and we have nothing, personally, my favorite game is Ultimate Wheelie. Yeah. Oh, yeah and yeah, I think we should game. be able to, like, go on primary games or do whatever, go to the library and whatever and do stuff there. So, I think if you get your work done, you should be able to go down to the gym and, like, run around and play, like, dodgeball or something, maybe, or play basketball. Yeah. Like, yeah. But we do have to get our work done, which is very important. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we should be allowed to have that freedom if we're responsible and do our work. I think we, like, hands down, we all know math and reading and is it's all boring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm on a little bit of Caleb's side, but I think personally we should just be able to play any game, like primary games. I think if we're done with our work, we should do, like, we should be able to do, like, what we want to do. Yeah. 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 I agree. So I think on like maybe even you know on Fridays or something we can do like throughout the week like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday we do like primary games or things on our iPad. But um, I think on Fridays especially when like one of the teachers or something, well, we should be taken down to like the gym. If only if we have all of our work done. But if we do, we can go like down to the gym and like we can vote on what we should play that Friday. Yeah, I agree with Gage. Like, on Fridays, we should be able to go down to the gym and, like, do, like have a game and vote for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming and talking about this today. See ya. Parker Podcast out. See All right. ya. See ya. Are you guys I, ready? What if I have to fart? Is judge? <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> let it rip. Just like step away real quick. Like take your headphones off. Step away as quietly no. as possible. Go like no. over there. Don't just just fart and he then can, we'll re-edit it. We'll pause. We'll pause for a second and he can okay, edit it just, out. All right, yeah. let's go. Start. All right, ready? Ready? Yeah.